Hey guys, welcome back to Bitsville Customs. So today I'm going to go over a little bit of like engineering a kit, but I'm going to be using this Savage Land Rogue uh, for that. Uh, they're all engineered and they're all ready to go and I'm starting to paint work as you can see with the right one. Um, I just want to show you guys that are new to the hobby or that have been in the hobby or maybe you're sending it to someone to get uh, painted up. Uh, maybe you want to think about the engineering of the kit because some of these kits that are coming out these days are um, phenomenal where they're already magnetized and stuff but you still got to put some things together and sometimes you get kits where it just gives you pegs and keys and you got to key everything in yourself and paint it up. Now if you're buying a kit and you wanted to, you're in the hobby for yourself you can put it together any way you want but you know I always like the I always got the idea in the back of my hand because you're I am a collector and I'm also doing it for people who are collecting that maybe they need to pack up the item and they're moving or they're redoing their man cave and they need to do different shells and they got to pack up the statue or maybe they're low on funds and it's sadly they have to sell off their collection uh you know and also the dreaded thing if you're getting a divorce and you're losing your collection you got to sell it so i always think about breaking the kit down or the statue make it easier to ship move and pack so i'm going to set up the one rogue on my desk and i'll show you guys how i engineered it and maybe it'll give you guys some tips if you have this kit or if you're working on the other kits that you may want to engineer it to the point where it makes your life easier for painting and all this other stuff all right guys, so here's Rogue. I'm gonna to try to break this down for you. Uh, this is more directed toward a lot of the new guys that are in the hobby that you might get a kit. And uh, when you get a kit, you can do whatever you want to your kit. It does not have to go together exactly how they keyed it. If you wanna add magnets, if you wanna add pegs, if you want to paint it up piece by piece and just glue it in at the end, you can. You do whatever you want. I'm just gonna show you guys what I did with this kit that might give you some helpful hints uh to future kits or this kit if you have it yourself now if you don't have this kit and you have somebody else doing it you can actually request them to say hey can you please make sure that you know these pieces go like this so this way i can actually pack it up if i have to blah 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 but i always like to take the extra step with my kits and make you know because i'm a collector first and foremost because i've always been in the comics and collecting so now that i do statues i always think about the person who needs to ship the item who needs to pack the item if you ever get the item in your house and you display her and then you need to move or you're redoing your man cave and you got to pack it up or if you have financial problems and you got to sell off your collection you could break it down and sell it to the next person so I like to take these extra steps and plus it makes life easier for painting as well so as you can see she's all put together right now okay she's got her uh, hand in with the spear she's got the flower on back at the base she's got her pouch on and all that now as far as the pouch goes we'll start with this uh, it's removable right now only because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it in at the end. It's really simple. If this was a removable pouch with another pouch or say she had skulls or something on the side, then I would add a magnet because then you could add magnets in and out. But something like that, I want to make sure it's secured in at the end. Alright, so now that that's done, uh, her headband. Now her headband, as you can kind of see what I did is I, uh, I kind of just trembled off the tip a little bit because the way it's designed with this kit is the hair pieces connect in like this one piece here and one piece here but with this piece it would go in first and then you would connect the hair but like if this piece is hanging off here like this it's a nightmare to paint so what I just decided to do was get this set up where I can paint her all first and then at the end I can just kind of glue this in with a little dab of glue and then I can use some A's and secure it in on this end and I can touch up some paints on both the hair and that piece. So that would be secured in at the end. Um, I would love to have it removable or with the peg but it just won't work so we'll you just, just what I came up with. Now as far as the spear with the hand, you know, if you have this as one whole piece it'll be a nightmare to ship this and pack it up. So, you know, since I'm doing this for some people and you know, it's got to go a couple states away you just can't really do that. So what I came up with is I drummled out the key that came with her hand and what I did was I added a steel, what's called key stock, and I added a piece of steel in her hand and then in this hand what I did is I do my normal uh, brass metal rod with the magnet in at the end so now this hand just clicks in right like this, right? So you just put it into the hole at the bottom of the base and then you just let this click in there and then boom you got the hand so now I could paint up the spear separately but the spear is still fairly long and you know to ship this like this is just too much so what I did is I did the same thing at the top I got a magnet you know 
Let's see, you got the you got the magnet with the steel rod up here, and then we got the same pieces in this top of the thing. So now when I need to ship it, I got the spear broken down in two halves. So that works out pretty good. Right? So we're pretty much uh, almost breaking her down pretty good now. So as you look at the bottom of the base, we have this flower in the back of the base. Now this piece is casted up separately. Now you really don't need to put any magnets and stuff. It seems like these things go on there pretty well. But what I did was I added a magnet here and I added a magnet here. So now I can paint this flower separately and then you just put this on the base like that and it stays. Um, I just thought it would be easier than trying to pack this up and ship it later down the line. You know, it's it's you can attach this if you want. It's still fairly decent base. You'd have to wrap it up really well, but I thought it would just be easier to make a magnet and do it this way. So I did that with the flower. Now, as far as the figure, which is always a little bit tricky, you know. So we'll kind of get a little bit closer. All right. So. When you get the kit, this leg is separated from this leg is separated here from the torso. So I attach these two legs on as well. Now, when you get the kit, she's keyed here and keyed here. Now there is no way in hell this statue is really going to stay on this base with just this key, especially being top heavy. It's just not going to happen. You have to take it upon yourself as a kit builder to make something secure that's going to stay. So what I always like to do is like a factory, you know, statue where I took this key stock, which is this is zinc. This is not steel, the regular zinc and it doesn't magnetize, which is good about zinc, but it's still really strong. I put a piece of metal zinc all the way up to about her calf muscle. I got us drumbled up as far as I could. I would love to have gone all the way up the leg, but I had started to come up to the point where I thought I was going to come right through here to the knee and I didn't want to destroy any details. So, just like that much is strong enough. So now we have a three prong key system here. We have this main key, this key, and this key. Now this key right here on this foot, I sanded it down, but the problem was is when you attach this leg, it doesn't line up with the key back here. So if you tried to force this key in here, then you would have a huge gap here with this leg, and you don't want that. So what I did is I dremeled out a huge circle around here, and then once I got the right foot keys all set up, I put A's in here with some uh, uh, baby powder, like I normally do in some of my videos. Hold on. And then uh, I put the foot, I pushed the foot down and everything, so now we're lined up pretty good. So the foot is secured on here, here, and here. So as you can see, she's not going anywhere, and she's not going to fall out of the base. So now. I can paint up my figure, I can get her all done, so when I need to do my detailing, you know, I don't have to worry about a spear in the hand, I don't have to worry about the pouch here yet, I don't have to worry about these hair pieces breaking off, so I can focus on doing, you know, detailing, I can turn her around, do detailing, and then after that I can add everything together. So this just makes life easier, plus when she's all done, I can lay her on my shelf with some padding, and then I can worry about the base, because I always like to do bases last. So. You know, that's a kit breakdown on the Rogue, but it's also a kit breakdown for anyone who's working on a statue that, you know, just make your life easier. Take the extra steps in the beginning of prepping your kit, making sure it's all clean, making sure everything's going really well, and then everything's broken down with magnets or pegs or whatever you want to do. And then when you go to paint, it'll make your life a lot easier. Now, I know a lot of kits come with pegs, you know, a lot of people in the hobby, what they do is, uh, some people who are new to the hobby, what they'll do is they'll get all the pegs and they'll paint it all separate and then they start gluing it all together. But then you get seam lines, because if I just left this alone, there would be a huge seam line underneath this arm. But what I did is I attached everything now and then I filled it in with A, so now there is no seam and I can use my paint and I can do whatever I need to do. So that's what I like to do with my kits. Hopefully it helps you guys out with maybe some you know, setups if you're working on anything in, you know, from a different company or some other producer and you're deciding like, oh my God, how am I going to paint this up? Don't get nervous. Always calm down. Take your time prepping your item. The paint work will come when you make your life easier with the building of the kit. So, like I said, you know, now once it's all said and done, you can just put this piece into her hand and you can have it just setting like that, you know. I mean, down the line, if the person who has the statue decides that 
they don't like this huge spear and they want to cut this down. So now what they can do is they can, you know, say they wanted to chop this part off of the steer, spear and they only wanted it to have it this high. Now they have a key over in here that they can set up with another metal rod and they can shorten the spear if they wanted to. Or say they didn't like this top of the piece and they wanted to create something else like some kind of like, I don't know, witch doctor type uh, spear thing or something. They could do that as well. So, you know, it's just... You can do what you want with your kits. You can have all the fun in the world. You do not have to do what they send you. You can do whatever you want. You're not doing this for a company where they say, hey, you have to do this, this, and this, and then we're going to sell 10,000 of them. This is your kit, one of a kind. Do what you want. So there you go. That is a kit breakdown on the Rogue. Uh, hopefully it helped you guys out if you're working on it or if you're working on any other kit. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos.